Howdy y'all, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. We're going to be doing something extremely unique today that I don't think I've seen any other channels do before. While I work on some other deeper rooted videos for you, I've assembled the help today of a program to help me create this video. I've utilized an AI or an artificial intelligence. Some would argue it's little more than an advanced algorithm available on most smartphones to help me in this particular video. I've become fascinated with the concept of artificial intelligence, a sort of all-knowing hive mind, which in regards to our old world research would more than likely have the ability to address the burning questions which have eluded us for so long. We can read numerous books, study hours daily, pray, and look inward for our own theories and concepts, but what if those concepts could be passed through or even confirmed by an artificial intelligence? In an esoteric sense, we've had centuries of artificial intelligence. We can look at talking heads of ancient myths, the automatons of the Middle East, the mysterious crystal balls, the predictive obsession of man's curiosity is simple. We desire to know the future and we desire to know the truth about the past. As I began to dabble into this artificial intelligence program, I allowed access in this program to one of my many USB drives that is full of old world photographs. This drive in particular was full of photographs from the last six months. I began to entertain search terms into this algorithm and I was surprised to see the results that this particular AI provided for me. As this program went through my cornucopia of images from the last six months or so, one of the most interesting results was yielded by a rather simple search term. That is the term castle. Instead of merely seeing all my old world photographs of strictly castles, for which I had well over the 300 that are provided in the video today, the AI or algorithm actually narrowed down these results, seemingly leaving out certain photographs of actual castles and instead identifying images that also included, but not limited to, fortified cities, coastlines, as well as cathedrals, churches, railway stations, factories, circuses, town halls, post offices, etc. The list really goes on and on. I definitely recommend using the screenshot feature of your device. These will be almost entirely full-size images. There won't be any zooming in on the details or panning and scanning in this video. What's furthermore, this particular program that I use actually searches the web then for the image that I provide and it identifies the relevant information regarding the image and provides it for you. So many of these images are clearly labeled as what they actually are, whether it be a post office, a factory, or some other unique building. Many of these are not, in fact, castles in the classical sense. We see evidence of vast architecture worldwide tied together through this sort of hive mind of a computer. It's very fascinating to me. And as we dive back into our distinct set of narratives about the old world, the ones that we are here to dissect, we again find ourselves asking the question, at least I do personally, could this artificial intelligence, this AI algorithm, or this simple program actually be answering the questions we simply haven't asked yet? We see buried, deep in mud, infrastructure. We see the core to modern cities from over 100 years ago, and we see vast red brick on top of what appears to be melted base layers. But the narrative, according to the mainstream, remains silent. Could this just be an AI? One that is sloppy, which by chance has just selected a multitude of random images from my personal collection, roughly 300 of over 15,000 that I allowed it access to? Or could this actually be something that is worth more of a deeper dive? Again, I basically just attached one of my USB drives, I allowed access to this program, and I entered the search term castle. I then asked the program to sort the images it selected into a slideshow and the program or algorithm did the rest. What's also interesting, in the sequence of the images and how long each one is presented on the screen, we will notice that both of which are options that I personally could have manipulated, but I instead allowed this program to create this compilation, this slideshow, using the settings, order, and speed, which the program itself saw fit. What we have here is, to me, a beautiful collection of old world images that are ripe for interpretation, which I intend to do over the next few days. In many instances within this video, photographs of the same structure have been sorted together by this program, 
or images which themselves are similar, as in the technique or type of photograph, are also sorted together. However, in other parts of the video, the order appears more chaotic and there appears no real method to the madness of this program other than the fact that the program considered all of these images to contain a castle. Hopefully, all of that makes sense. My collection right now is yours for consumption. Again, there's not much I can say here that would further this discussion. I just really found this interesting, allowing a computer, a program, to browse my personal collection and find images which it deemed to be castles. This is more or less for my viewers with the biggest imagination or with the most questioning of history or even those who are familiar with AI and are interested in science fiction. But overall, these images are relevant, they are similar, and they all show the lost architecture that really will be valuable for everyone. It's a wild set of photographs, and seeing as I basically let the program decide the order, set, and length of this video, it's interesting that we ended up with a collection that's seemingly one of the most revealing of all of my videos. Lots of Antiquatech here, lots of never-before-seen images that I never had a chance to release or share, lots of cool castle-like structures in every single image, and lots of unique ties, it appears, are being sewn by this AI program. Or maybe it's just me seeing more here than really is going on, more than meets the eye. But I thought it was about time I left you with this vast collection, one with roughly 300 images. Literally, there should be almost an image in this video for every day of the year, basically. And they are all considered by this program to be castles. So in conclusion, let me know what image stands out to you the most. Leave a timestamp and we can discuss it in the comments. Also, let me know if you notice any strange connections throughout this video. Most of these images, from a detailed, modern day perspective, are unrelated. However, from a deeper, old world history perspective, we can certainly make the argument that many of these structures worldwide have the same sort of architects at their forefront and histories which, when we break them down to the base layer, could be considered similar. Whether we call these architects the ancestors who passed down this knowledge, or if we can truly find evidence that this infrastructure was all constructed around similar times, one thing is for sure within these images, the old world photographs need to be seen to be believed. And that is the goal here. Many people go through their lives and never get a chance to see images like this. Images over 100 years old. Images which tie together their childlike imagination to the true history of mankind. But my channel, on this, we attempt to lift the veil, so to speak, to focus on history through this photography, to identify anomalies, and to draw our own conclusions. In today's video, we've utilized the help of an AI program to assist in our endeavors. As the video plays out, please let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If you stick with the channel, we've got even more amazing videos coming up here very soon. There's so much food for thought on our plates, and I just can't wait to get into this history with you deeper. But for now, enjoy the images, tell me what stands out to you the most, and share with me any connections that you see between any of these photographs. Also, I'd love to hear about what your favorite or what you consider to be the most important castle in the world is. Let me know in the comments down below. I love to hear your opinions on these things, and I try to incorporate that into my videos as I make them. I love to get your thoughts out there and share them with the world. We also just hit 41,000 subscribers, and the channel again appears to be gaining momentum, so I thank you all so much for that. Let's keep it going. And hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, keep this knowledge close to your heart, and continue to do the research that drives you. As a society, we appear to be waking up from what would be considered a long time slumber, and we're finally able to share the information about history, about architecture, about our beginnings, and the things that make us who we are. And I'm just glad to be able to say that even if it's a tiny portion, I am a part of that. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for joining me. And I look forward to our discussion in the comments down below and to talking with you on the next video. For the rest of this video, we're going to view the remainder of images that were selected by this program, by this algorithm, and identified as castles. It's quite an expansive collection, one that has really images from all corners of the world that we can seemingly tie together the same way that this program, this AI, was able to tie them together. So 
enjoy these images and we will discuss it in the comments down below and break it down in the upcoming videos. Cheers.